as you was talking about. <clears throat> Say that I was, you know, always invited. I knew I was always invited. First of all, stick camp sucks. We all know. Because it's slow. When, when I first became a member, you know, or a syndicate member or whatnot, uh, when, I, when I first started, it was different because it, it wasn't, the server wasn't as bad and it wasn't so slow or whatever, but it's still slow, okay? It has nothing to do with the connection of anybody's connection. You can have wireless, Wi-Fi, satellite, you know, internet connection, whatever. The fastest internet possible and it still suck. They have something in their, in their studios that makes it so that the people who are syndicate members who are getting paid at least have good, you know, access to it. Anyway, so we all know Sticky Hammer sucks because of the, the freezing all the time and lag or whatever. But that's not just the reason. Most of the time on Fridays, I work. And I'm pretty sure I made that clear, you know, that I not, wasn't always going to be able to make it all the time. So if you guys did discuss stuff, even after we got our members or whatever, I wasn't able to, I, I had no idea what you guys discuss, you know, besides what Sean would tell me, okay? Now, I wish, and this is where I know everybody agrees with me, that I wish that we would have had, like, a weekly meetings or something, like, met on a certain day that worked out for everybody and talked about what video, or even every other week, talk about the videos that we want to do, you know, what we think the people would enjoy. And that would have been a lot of fun, you know, rather than just having a two Skype meetings and then that's it because when you're not able to, you know, because you have work and everything, I can't just take every Friday off just to chat with the, the people, part, you know, part of my group or whatever, you know, or part of the channel. And yeah, I say my group because I felt it was like my group, you know, I felt that everybody was, you know, you talk about how everybody feels like a member of the family or whatever, how everybody's, you know, well, that's what I felt. I felt that we're all one big family, you know. And regardless of the good times or the bad time, I felt that we were all connected pretty well. Should I have talked to Rush a little bit more, talk about more things? Sure. But I never, I never once told her I didn't ever want her part of the channel. Did I say everybody's replaceable? Yeah, I did. But I didn't mean for that to be taken the wrong way. Hell, even I'm replaceable, as you as you notice now. Okay. And the truth of the matter is, I kind of want her out of this collab channel, uh, you know, the first sign of trouble, you know. Did I ask Z to help me to uh, to help fix it up? Sure. Did I bang on my hands and knees? No. No, no, no. I just said, you know, in fact, I offered him something that has never been said before, you know, until now. It's something he'll never admit to, but... I offered him, I told him, I said, I want out, okay, so, you know, if it's not going to work, I want out, I want to give you my ownership, I want, kind of, I just want out of the collab channel, you know, I give you my responsibilities, you know, you know how to make stuff successful, so then, there you go, you can do it, you know, you know, I, that way then, at least, you know, there's fair ground there and whatnot, and not saying you have to clean up my mess or whatever, because it wasn't that messy, but because of this competition and everything, uh, you know, and, and, the, and because you knew all these people, you know, pretty much, whether you've known them for a little while or not, some of these people you knew who were part of the competition you knew for a while, or you talked to on a regular basis, okay? Was I fair to the Razman and fair to, to Chris and fair to Patrick? Probably not. It probably wasn't a good idea for me to to make a video, you know, announcing to the world that, you know, all these changes without talking to the, the people in my group and said. But it's just, I don't know. I, I, I don't know what I was thinking at, that, uh, that, at those moments or whatever, okay? You know, you got to understand with me, I get a little excited about doing videos and whatnot because I think it's kind of cool. Did I always make the most interesting video? Of course not. You'll know that you'll know that when I'm with a friend or with somebody else, you know, somebody that I can relate to, that the videos are a lot more better because you have that, you know, conversation going on, you know. And it is true that because of the fact that I, you know, moved to my parents' place. Yes, I live with my parents. That, you know, I'm limited by some of the things that I can do. Okay, that's that's the truth. 
what I you and you'll notice that because the first six months or five months or whatever that I was doing videos for the channel, that it turned out to be very well. Hold on here. Oh. Okay, as we continue this here. Always keep getting interrupted. See, that's one of the things that was different when I lived in my own apartment. I never hardly got interrupted by anybody. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I just, uh, I just want to make sure that everybody realizes that, you know, that I am mad enough to admit my mistakes. Whether I did something that was cool or whether I did something that wasn't cool. But to say that I never wanted Rush to be a part of the channel, that was not true. You know, did I not want Raz to be a part of the channel? Well, at the time, I didn't realize that, you know, I, I didn't think he was that exciting. And see, that's one of the reasons why, I, you know, even though I probably didn't, I knew that I wasn't that exciting, even to still to this day. But at least, you know, I knew that, you know, with, with, with having him on, that maybe he could be great and informative, but I didn't think that people would actually, you know, would actually relate to it at all. But, you know... I realized that maybe I should have just kept him on. Maybe I should have just gave him a uh, polite meteorology spot instead of having this survivor competition. The fact is that he actually it would have been a great addition, and he was a great addition. People actually, people actually liked him and responded very well to all his videos. And did I, you know, I may have went, you know, too far with calling him handicapped or whatever. That was uncalled for. You know, I should have done that. You know, that was, you know. Trust me, it was just out of rage and emotion. It wasn't because I think he's handicapped or whatever. It wasn't because I think, oh, all handicapped people can't do anything. Hell, I'm handicapped. I, I was born with a cleft palate when I was a baby, you know? That's why I talk so amazingly or whatever, you know? Or that's the way I sound anyway when I talk. Maybe I don't sound as bad now, but trust me, if you would have heard me way back in the day, yeah. So I know what it's like to, you know, to feel that way. But I was wrong by, by saying that too, to him. You know, so I, I apologize to Raz. Um, I didn't realize that people related so well to him, and it was my mistake to, to not let him give him more of an opportunity. Although I did give him an opportunity, I thought a fair opportunity. Maybe if I if he would have if he would have told me, you know, privately how he felt, you know, if everybody would have told me privately how they felt, that a lot of this would have never happened. If we would have discussed it. And maybe I should have came to them. Maybe I should have came to all of you, you know, and gave you great leadership and whatnot, and try to give you great advice, and as you try to give me good advice or whatever, if I should. Whatever.